Morning, family. Big T coming at you today. Just got out of work. Getting ready to head on home. Head on home. Just wanted to talk at you guys for a little bit this morning. Share some thoughts that I got on my mind. So, <clears throat> I've been meaning to make a video on this for a while. And, uh haven't quite found the time but after uh, certain circumstances and some stuff going on here at work I figured I better vent a little bit so I'm a vent to you guys aren't y'all special anyway so I'm not gonna mention any names I'm not putting anybody on blast but I forgive the forever bleh. You have to forgive the uh, shakiness of the camera family. I'm, like I said, I'm driving and uh, got it up on the little holster thingamadoo on the uh, window there. So, anyway, so like I said, I'm not going to put anybody on blast and I ain't going to name names. I'm not going to say where I work or anything like that. But uh, today's video is going to be about <clears throat> good work ethic. And do you have it? So, don't get me wrong, family. I know that uh, I can be lazy sometimes. And uh, by that I mean sometimes I don't always do exactly what I'm supposed to or exactly how I'm supposed to do it. Just out of sheer laziness. But, when it comes to doing my job, I like to think that, uh, that I do my job well and that... Uh, that I do what's expected of me. See, that's the key to a good work ethic is that you do what's expected of you. A lot of people seem to think that, oh, just because, you know, I show up on time and I show up every day that uh, that's considered good work ethic. Wrong. Wrong, family. That is not the definition of good work ethic. I don't have a dictionary. Well, I do. It's on my phone, but uh, surely I can't record a video and Google good work ethic at the same time. Plus, I'm afraid of what I might find if I Google good work ethic. But uh, there's a lot of people at my job uh, that I work with on a daily basis that seem to think just because they show up on time and, you know, they, uh, they hit their rate for the day that they can slack off and do whatever the hell they want to do, and uh, I like to think of myself as a nice guy, and recently I've been kind of put in a position where I might have to start being a little bit more of an asshole, and uh, I don't necessarily like that, but don't get me wrong, I'm not afraid to be an asshole, and you can ask my wife, I'm very good at being an asshole, she'll tell you, uh, but no, so these people think that just because, you know, they hit their numbers for the day and, you know, because I'm a nice guy, kind of seems like they're getting this notion in their mind that they can just do whatever the hell they want and it doesn't matter what I tell them to do or yada yada. I will give them this. I'm technically not their boss. I'm not their boss, per se. Uh, but our boss is busy handling other projects is how I'll put it and uh, myself and another teammate decided to take it upon ourselves <clears throat> excuse me family take it upon ourselves to uh, kind of look over the line and make sure it runs smoothly and we do what we're expected to do so, that being said, when I have a few bad eggs in my mitts that decide that they're going to do whatever the hell they want to do, doesn't matter, because I can't do anything to them, wrong, wrong again. The hammer's about to come down, family, and uh, I might not be wielding that hammer, but I sure as hell can uh, give it uh, purpose and... Uh, direction to swing so back to the good worth work ethic if you show up to work on time or early as long as you're not late 
family. And as long as you do what's expected of you while you're at work, you're not slacking off, you're working with a purpose. Uh, you're always doing something to keep yourself busy. You know, whether it be, you know, running your machine or if you're in a desk job, you know, doing paperwork or whatever it is you office folk do. I don't know. I've never been privileged enough to have an office job, I guess. Which is fine. That's not really my cup of tea anyway. I'm more of a manual labor kind of person. But as long as you're keeping yourself busy, family, and it's something that's being productive, and by productive I mean helping the company or helping the, uh, the individual that you work for, that's good work ethic. Now, just showing up on time don't quite cut it. Showing up on time, in my book, generally means that you're late. We're required to be online at 11 o'clock. Well, if you show up at 11 o'clock, you're late. You need to be at least two minutes early. Because we always have a meeting right before the shift starts. And if you're not there for that, then you don't know what the hell's going on. And then I get to deal with a bunch of questions later about, well, when is this going to happen? Or why are we doing this? Well, I told you, you weren't here to, you weren't here to listen. So why should I tell you again? You know, <clears throat> a lot of people at this place I work seem to think, uh, or well, they, they seem to have this notion that they're there just to make the paycheck. Don't get me wrong, family. The only reason why I do factory work is to make the paycheck. It pays the bills, yes. Is it exactly what I want to do in life? No, probably not. But at this point in my life, I mean, I'm 27. I really don't, uh, I don't have any uh, business degrees. I don't have any college degrees. I got a high school diploma, but that's about it. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of trade skills other than ones I've learned uh, through just doing stuff. So with that being said, I don't really foresee a bright and exciting future as far as uh, new employment goes. And like I said, I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy, so like short of being maybe a farmer or something, I don't, I don't know how much more glorious it can get. But uh, a lot of people are there just to be there, you know? They're not there to put in the work. They're not there to earn their money. They're there to collect their money. And there's a big difference. I'm almost home, guys, so I think I might just make this uh, part one of my discussion on good work ethic. But, uh, actually, you know what? Forget the part one, part two nonsense. I'll sum it up for you right here. If you got a job and you want to keep that job, bring your ass to work on time. Do what's expected of you. And for God's sakes, try to get along with people. I know you're not here to make friends. Neither am I. But I'm here to do my job. And if I make enemies, that's going to impede on me doing my job. All right, family. I'm getting out of here. I'm almost home. I'm going to cook me some bacon. And I'm going to eat some breakfast. Take it easy, my friends. Work hard.